Hello everyone, today's topic is inequalities. We will start with some basic tricks and basic concepts of inequalities to make inequalities a very simpler and easy sub easy chapter. The trick number one is if a is a number and it belongs to a set of real numbers, then the following is true. That is, negative of mod of a is less than equal to a which is further less than equal to mod of a. Now the trick number two is if r is any positive number that is r is greater than or equal to zero then and a is any real number a belongs to the set of real number then it satisfies the following inequality. The following inequality is mod of x minus a is less than equal to r which implies a minus r is less than equal to x which is further less than equal to a plus r students this is a very major very important inequality please keep this in mind now we go to the trick number three if a and b are two numbers then the following inequality satisfied a plus b whole mod is always less than equal to mod a plus mod b mind it always this is very important this is a very important inequality we have a, moreover a general form of this inequality for n numbers let a1 comma a2 till a n be numbers then the following inequality satisfies mod of a1 plus a2 plus a3 till a n is always students mind it it's always less than equal to mod of a1 plus mod of a2 till mod of a n now we'll go to the fourth inequality the fourth trick which is a very basic trick that is if a and b are real numbers such that a is greater than b and c is another real number then a plus c is always greater than b plus c this there is another part of this with subtraction that is a minus c is always greater than b minus c hope you understood till now and the fifth and the fifth property which is a very important property is if a is greater than b greater than 0 then the inverse of a that is 1 by a and 1 by b are related like this 1 by a becomes less than 1 by b as children note this that if a is greater than b then if we inverse the values if we inverse the number then sign get also changed the sign gets reversed now students this is a very important trick again if a and b are any real numbers such that a is less than b and n is any positive integer then a to the power n is always less than equal to b to the power n and a to the power minus n is always greater than b to the power minus n this we did it in the previous inequality as the num when the numbers get reversed the sign also changes now let's move on to the main thing most of the inequalities 90 percent of the inequalities could can be solved by a basic inequality is known as am gm and hm inequality am that stands for the arithmetic mean gm that stands for geometric mean and hm stands for high stands for harmonic mean it is related like this am is greater than gm which is further greater than hm equality occurs when all the numbers are same am the arithmetic mean is a plus b by 2 for two numbers now we will do it for n numbers this will become a1 plus a2 plus a3 till an whole divided by 
n. Now we come to the geometric progression, gm. Geometric mean, rather. For any two numbers, the geometric mean is root over a into b, just. But for n numbers, the geometric mean is a1 into a2 into a3 into till a n whole to the power 1 by n. This is the geometric mean of n numbers given. Now we, now we learn the harmonic mean. Harmonic mean is basically the mean of a harmonic progression and for two numbers the harmonic mean is 2 by 1 by a plus 1 by b. For n numbers the harmonic mean is 1 by n the whole divided by 1 by a1 plus 1 by a2 so this summation goes till 1 by a n. Now students let's move to a sum. Question number 1 says the minimum value of 9 to the power x plus 9 to the power 1 minus x where x belongs to real number mind this x belongs to real number is option 1, 2, option 2, 3, option 3, 4 and option d is none of the above given options. Now hope you hope you understand the question. Now, using the AMGM inequalities, as I said, students, most of the inequalities can be solved through AMGM inequalities. AMGM inequalities let the two numbers be 9 to the power x and 9 to the power 1 minus x. Now, using this, these two numbers in the inequality, we can write 9 to the power x plus 9 to the power 1 minus x whole divided by 2 is greater than or equal to root over 9 to the power x into 9 to the power 1 minus x which implies that 9 to the power x plus 9 to the power 1 minus x is greater than or equal to 6 hence we conclude that the least value of 9 to the power x plus 9 to the power 1 minus x is 6. Hence, option D. None of the above. Hence, the correct answer of the question is option D. Let's call, change the color and mark it. Now students we move on to this question number 2. The question number 2 says if a comma b comma c are 3 positive numbers then sorry it's 3 then the minimum value of b plus c by a plus c plus a by b plus a plus b by c is option a 1, option b 2, option c 3 or option d none of the above. Now the solution. As we know that AM is always greater than or equal to GM, hence taking the two numbers as A by B and B by A, we get half of A by B plus B by A is always greater than or equal to root over A by B into B by A and taking another pair as b by c and c by b we get half of b by c plus c by b is always greater than root over b by c into c by b. Now we take another pair the third pair that is c by a and a by c. Putting this in the amg inequality of two numbers we get half of c by a plus a by c is always greater than or equal to root over c by a plus a by c into a by c. Students, as we see that the RHS, the right hand side of every inequality comes out to be as 1. 
hence adding hence adding all the numbers all the inequalities which we received are we get half of a by b plus b by a plus b by c plus c by b plus c by a plus a by c is greater than 3 taking half of the on the other on the other side we get a by b plus b by a plus b by c plus c by b plus c by a plus a by c is always greater than 6 hence grouping the following like a by b and c by b b by a and c by a c b by c and a by c we get a plus c by b plus a plus b by c plus b plus c by a which is greater than 6 hence this was our expression which we needed in the question and the maximum the sorry the minimum value of the given expression is 6 and the option d satisfied that is none of the above now students we proceed to the next question and the last question of this video that is if a comma b comma c are positive real numbers then the least value of a plus b plus c into 1 by a into 1 by b plus 1 by c is now the solution we know am is greater than gm therefore for three numbers a plus b plus c whole divided by 3 will be greater than a b c whole 1 by 3 we further know that gm is also greater than hm hence this will be further greater than 3 by 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c now removing this gm we take only these two and hence we get the following a plus b plus c whole divided by 3 is greater than or equal to 3 by 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c hence cross multiplying this and this we get a plus b plus c whole into 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c which is greater than or equal to 9 hence proved the hence the minimum value of the given expression that is a plus b plus c into 1 by a plus 1 by b plus 1 by c is 9 hence the option a 9 satisfied thank you